all right welcome back so for our next video we're going to be going over the fillet entities as well as the chamfer entities so again you would have to go over here to wireframe go all the way to the right side under the modify section right here now remember to use the modify section you would at least have to create some kind of geometry whether it's a circle line rectangles or any kind of geometry before you come over here and you're able to trim it and create fillets and chamfers and offsets for example so let's go ahead and get started with the fillet entity select fillet entity and you're going to get this dialog box will appear on the left side asking you to select an entity so there's going to be a bunch of styles for the fillet there's going to be a normal two inverse circle clearance and relieve if you just simply move your mouse over them you will see what that will look like if you want to create that kind of entity style okay so these are just different kinds of fillets to use uh, or sections of fillets to use the radius obviously defines the radius of that fillet because the fillet is just a section of a circle or that entire circle but it has to have a radius that's how you define a uh, fillet and then trim to entities if you have this checked you're basically able to trim away the rest of the geometry that's there when you create an entity. So let's go ahead and create a normal two. So for a normal two, there's two ways to create that. You can either select one and select another entity and it will create a radius there, or you would simply move your mouse close to that radius and it would create that radius. You can create it on outside edges as well as inside edges over here, okay? The simplest way is to move your mouse but sometimes you have to move it at a certain place close to it. Some people don't like that. They rather just pick two and create their fillet. Okay, so I'm going to keep exiting and undoing the fillets to keep showing you guys all the different ones. So the next one is inverse. So an inverse, same thing. If I move my mouse close to the corner, I would create it. But this is the inverse. So instead of the fillet looking like that, it would create an inverse, for example, like this and like that. Now I'm going to keep those there and keep switching it between the styles to show you how they will look like. Next thing I want to do is a circle. So a circle will make it a full circle. Because I've already created these, it's only focusing on that last one. So this makes it an entire circle. A clearance would create a clearance and that's usually used in corners to be able to bring yeah, that tool all the way in and machine it all the way out. Okay. And then a relief. A relief is like that too if you're just coming in with a tool. And you want to cut all the way through and, and you know be able to have a relief for the cutting tool all right so the main one that's really used is the normal two again if you have trim entity selected it will trim the geometry if you don't it will keep them there as you can see right here so that that's how if you want to keep them you just want to make sure that you unselect trim entities and it will keep them there trim entity selected and those edges in our corner are gone so I'm going to go ahead and exit here. I'm going to undo all the fillets. And now we're going to learn how to create fillet chain. So same thing as an entity, uh, which really focuses on just one corner at a time. Fillet chain focuses on the entire chain. So I'm going to go ahead and select it. And you'll have this dialog box will appear asking you to select a chain. Make sure chain is selected and select this chain. This will select that entire chain that is connected all together and select OK. Now we'll go over these options when we start uh, creating our first exercise, so I won't be going over them right now. Go ahead and select OK. And because I already had the clearance selected, you'll see that it's already on clearance. I can switch it to normal too, and that will create a radius for me, whatever radius I define right here all around my chain. This way, uh, this is a very nice feature to use, especially if you want to create a radius, for example, on all corners, and you don't want to sit and check and uh, click on each corner separately. Now, at the bottom over here, you're gonna see a direction. If you click on plus sweep, it will only do fillets on corners towards the inside, as you can see. So those are towards the inside of the part. If you select the minus sweep, it will only create fillets on the outside edges of your part. All corners obviously will do all corners. And same thing as before, trim entities over here, if you uncheck that, it will keep all the corners there if you don't want to delete them. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and exit out and undo that. So next thing we want to do is the chamfer entity. So go ahead and select chamfer entities and it's similar, but it is different. So there's distances. So a chamfer is basically an edge that goes from one corner to the other instead of a radius. So it's almost like a little rectangle or a side of a rectangle. You can either have it one distance. So if you have one distance selected, 
you can only change the one distance over here and you notice that distance angle and width are all grayed out one distance i'm going to change this to 0.25 for example if you go and select these two entities it will create a chamfer which has a one distance of 0.25 meaning from that corner it's 0.25 this way and 0.25 that way and that one distance meaning both distances are the same if you change it to two distances that means you can actually now make one distance different than the other for example i'm going to change distance number two to 0.5 so that means the distance between this corner and this point right here is now 0.5 the distance between here and here is 0.2 uh, 0.25 all right so you, there's a lot of different reasons why you would want to do that uh, next one is distance and angle so one distance is being used and now the distance number two is grayed out and you can use an angle and as you can see as i increase my angle it will make my chamfer bigger or smaller so that's another way you're going to notice on a lot of drawings if you are new uh, in drawings for example or a new engineer if you have looked at your drawings it's usually distance or distance angle it would say for example 0.1 times 45 degree angle that means this distance is 0.1 and the angle is 45 degree angle okay so that it's usually the same whenever it's 45 degrees that means it's almost the same as the distance one and two being equal so whenever you select 45 degree angle that is the same exact thing as this and this being the same for example if i select two distances and change this to 0.1 notice how this looks like okay and now i go to distance angle and see how it's the same at 45 degree angle because they are similar 45 degrees it will automatically be 45 degrees whenever the distances are equal to and same as before down here trim entities you will uh, keep the corners if you don't have it selected selected you would do that now to width now you don't want to confuse that with distance the difference between width and distance for example let me go ahead and make the width 0.25 and the distance 0.25 okay uh now go to width and you'll notice that look what, how big the chamfer is and now when i change it to distance number one you see how it got bigger and that's because distance number one is the distance between here and here and here and here that's 0.25 where the width is the actual distance between here and here so that is 0.25 distance so that's why it becomes bigger so don't get that confused so distance one distance two and this is the width okay now i'm going to go ahead and exit out and undo that chamfer and last but not least we're going to select chamfer chain so very similar to the fillet chain i'm going to go ahead and select that entire chain and select okay and as you can see you can only use the distance or the width remember they are a little different so make sure you know which one you're actually using uh, per drawing or you're actually following the drawing itself usually it shows the distance on the drawing not unless it says width is when you whenever you change it to width but 99.9 percent .9 of the time it is showing you the distance so make sure to type in the right one for our sake i have it at 0.125 and i can either select trim entities or untrim them and select okay to accept that and this concludes our session going over the fillets and the chamfer entities